Okay. Cause this was crazy. Do you remember, do you remember the, uh, the folks that came to my door a few weeks ago, the, yeah, the realtors? The yeah. Who dropped the ball. Well, I mean, they keep following up with me. Right. And, Good. and so I got a text keeping the ball going to keeping the ball going. The follow up yeah. is impeccable. I must say. Good. They're, the the CMA they provided for me was absolute horseshit, but that's okay. I mean, they're trying, right? They're trying. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you knock on doors, by the way? I haven't or, knocked on doors. You're, you're kind of busy, a long right? Time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because you're. I busy. did. I, I knocked on the doors. You you knocked on them when you I knocked on the doors there. for years. Yep, I did. Yeah. So okay. So anyway, so 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 they they send me a text like we got to talk to you. We got some important news we need to <clears> share <throat> with you, right? Are you <clears> available <throat> for a call? Mm. And I was like, oh, like I can't resist. 75 right? people got that same text today. I that can't day. resist. Yeah. And, 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 and so, of course, like I want to hear what they have to say. And I'm really thinking like, should I record this for the show? Because this would be great. Mm. Right. Yeah. Or, or, or should I invite them on the show? But I think TK. Tell me you want a Zoom meeting with them. And then just record it. Well, I, I see. I thought of all these things. Okay. okay. But <laughs> TK. Like, um, part of the appeal of the whole situation is that they don't understand that I know a little bit more about real estate than, than most people that they would just knock on their door. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, so we get in all these discussions about how bad realtors are and how they don't know what they're doing, at least from this side of the, of the screen. Right. And I was in a faux space on Thursday and they, all the realtors were just raking on other realtors and how shit, mm. shit realtors it's part are part of the realtor MO, you know, you got to rake on other realtors. Well, uh, that's how you get the business. Don't go with that guy. Well, I Arr. mean, everybody's kind of upset about how the pricing strategy and the bidding wars, but we'll get in, into all that after. So anyway, so, so, so they want to talk to me and obviously they're not the best realtors in the world, but they want to talk to me. They keep following up, which is great. And I like, I need this not only for, for my soul, but for the show TK, right? Cause I figure there's going to be a story here. So anyways, I tell them I can speak the next day and boom, they're on it. And they mm -hmm. call me instantly like three o'clock on the nose. There's some technical difficulties with the conference call. Listen, nobody's perfect. Right. So, so we start talking and he's like, man, the market is on fire. It's like last year again last mm -hmm. year in February. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, like last year in February, like it's about to crash hard next month again, or like, like booming hot. And he's like, it's crazy. And there's no inventory in your area. And like the last house that sold was like shit compared to your house. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and like, there's just nothing. And I think, you know, we can get you a lot of money for your house right now. Cause yours would be like the best house for sale in the neighborhood. Mm. And he's like, how much would you want for your house? And of course, what's my answer, TK? The highest price possible. Thank you. What do you think you can get for this house? Right. And he gives me a number and I'm like, like, bro, like not only, okay. If you work this hard to get somebody on the phone and you're trying to list their house, like type their name into Google. Okay. And like, at least do that amount of research. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. if you're a realtor, you can go even deeper and you can do all kinds of research. Like maybe when did I buy my house and what did I pay for it? Right. Before you throw some stupid number out. Right. Cause the number is like a loss. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what, what's enticing about this phone call that the market's yeah. hot <laughs> and you're going to get me less money than I've put into this thing. Yeah. But this is what's going on out there. So what if they hit like the right person who needs to sell right now and gets all excited? They do. They do. I, I, I can attest to door knocking being a very great way to meet people who own houses. And eventually one of those people is going to be the, per the person who needs to sell. And as long as you do the follow up, it's not usually knock on the door. Hey, you want to sell? Okay. Unless you had a buyer for them or something like that, but that was really old school. That it's just it's not it's not as common anymore, right? But the main thing would be follow up. So you go, you knock on the door, you put them in your database. Now you're keeping in touch with them, and now, and they just become a part of your life. And it could be years later that you know you are selling them their house because you're 
a part of their life. You met them at the on the front porch, right? Did you keep a straight face for so long? Yeah, no, it, you're right. It, mm. it, it's a great way. And you know what? Like more often than not, there isn't somebody that's just kind of stringing you along for content, right? Sometimes mm. you actually hit somebody or you make a yeah. connection or I mean, you, I don't know these story. days who, okay. Yeah. Want a story? Yeah. One of them. Okay. So, um, last night in the middle of the storm, I had clients move out of their house last minute. Oh. I'm going to try to tell this story in a, in the best light possible. Um, they were approached by a door knocker many, many months ago. And this door knocker was there to sell their home and wanted them to sell their home for much less than what they thought it was worth. Now, <clears throat> these guys had a lot of issues at their house. The house had a lot of problems. And once the door knocker was able to get inside the house, he was no longer as interested in helping them because he realized that it would be a tough job. Okay. <laughs> so naturally they called, uh, <clears throat> one of our ads and uh, I was the one who was assigned to them to be able to help them get them back on track. So we got the property sold. Everything went well. They were happy. We're supposed to move on Wednesday. Wednesday is coming, Daryl. They don't this have a Wednesday. Place. They don't have a place to go. They don't have a so place said, to go. What have they been so, doing? <clears throat> I know, but that's their, you know, I've been helping them as much as I've ever helped anybody in my career. So to what's the issue? Why can't we find a place? <laughs> they, they've got some issues. So that, that, that's the bottom line. Again, I'm trying to keep this as neutral as possible here. Hmm. They got obstacles to, to uh, mountains to jump over to get to the next chapter of their life. And uh, so we were able to get an extension till Friday. And the Friday was coming. And I was like, what's going on? What's like, I don't have a place. Was there any packing or anything like that? With and so days? yesterday we're negotiating another extension. And the buyer till says, when Monday. So we said Tuesday at first. Ooh, then the buyer said, "No problem, time. Tuesday, but ten thousand dollars for sure." And so then we said, "Okay, a ten thousand dollar hold back. We'll do what you want us to do, but we want to the following Monday because we need time." They said, "We'll give you till Wednesday." Sure, fifteen thousand. Well, it was the ten still. Uh, so I thought, you know what? You can't do missed anything. opportunity there. TK. At 4 p.m., we ordered the movers and we found the best damn movers in the city at that have ever existed. I'm going to shout out this guy right now at 4 p.m. on a Friday, what the beginning the of the fuck? month. After right he finished a, a day, a, after a he snowstorm. finished another day of work. No? Right before a snowstorm, Mr. Iman, who can be found at 647-677-7501 from fastmove.ca was the hero this in all of East York, Leslieville area. This wow. guy sent three workers wow. at a reasonable rate, no surprises, to work their tail off. I got the storage locker down the street for them. They moved everything. I got a hotel for them in the middle of a snowstorm, Holy Ubered cow. them over there, got it all done. And now today we're going to figure things out where things need to go. TK. You know? Yeah. What the hell, bro? You sold me this house. You should come. You want to help fix the fence? Yeah. You're um, such a nice guy. Holy well, cow. I, Look I at all that all work home. you did. I did this all from home remotely, all right? except for remotely. having to go get the hotel. I had to leave my house for that. Did you hire a uh, AI assistant or some kind of? Uh, no, everything's assistant? pretty remote. Even the, the locker people let me check in remote. This guy let me pay through e-transfer. Everybody had let me do everything I needed to do to make this coordinate work. What a beautiful thing. When somebody has the will to get something done, isn't it a beautiful PM, thing? Look at you, TK. For, TK. In a snowstorm. Moving mountains. This is no ordinary storm. That, that thing was it's, crazy. That was crazy last night. Right? It is crazy. You should yeah. see. I had to carry it's, my dog out to the sidewalk in two feet of snow just to like give her a walk. This <laughs> so the door, the door knockers are great people. And when I was a door knocker, I wasn't the best agent. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was yeah. going around because I had no business and I was trying to find people who wanted to sell and I was going to figure it out one way or another. You know, that was that's sort of the door knocking plan. 